June 21, it will be decision day for the people of Ekiti. 18 candidates are gunning for one seat. I am the next governor of Ekiti. But the people will have the final say. I know that tolerance has a very big place. Join extensive coverage of the election and get up to the many details as development unfolds. I'm the voice of the people. With expert analysis from the best political team on television. And that's honesty of Ireland. Without Join us all day June 21 to find out who emerges the next governor of the Kitty State. We have agreed to move this state forward. Keep a date with us on Court TV News. You can also watch us live on our website on www.courttvnews.com at 24 hour news station. Welcome back everyone to our live studios here at Lagos. It's called TV News and we did promise just like um, campaign promises. Uh, we did promise to bring you all the live feeds and of course keeping you up to date with what's happening in AKT today. Unlike what most politicians would do in Africa, we are meeting up with fulfilling and delivering our promises to your doorstep as we bring you all of the stories just as you want it. I am Nifemi Ogunto and it's 2014 AKT Lex right here from Co TV News. Now, it's staring you right in the face. It's no longer news that um, voting is concluded in all the words and of course all the polling units in AKT State and its collation as well as um, counting of the votes that is ongoing now and it's 732,166 number of valid registered voters in AKT. Of course just recently INEC told us that about 200 and uh, over 200,000 voters will not be able to vote because they do not have their permanent voters card. So we're looking at about 400,000 voters in this AKT election. Now, how this this enfranchised voters, how this number will affect the outcome of the election? Of course, time will tell. Away from there, break down the valid registered voters. It's all over here on the map of AKT. And the signature of all eyes has always been Adui Kitty, 134,141. And opinions are of the fact, people are of the fact that about 30% of electorates live there. And the winner in this particular place stands a good chance of winning. Now, uh, of, of course, followed followed by Ado is a record due uh, and a fellow the local government with 54,430 votes. The list is a major, major 11,796. Uh, we have number of registered voters along the senatorial district lines, aka to not senatorial district, with 190,628 voters. And of course, this is where the votes really lie. It gets a central center district with a whooping 301,756 votes. And um, it gets a south senator district with just 239,780. 82. The gender distribution of the voter population in AKT. I'm talking about the gubernatorial election that is being counted now. We have um, female having 51% of the voters as well as male with 49%. And we saw that, we really saw that earlier in the live feeds we got from AKT where the number of women we saw on the queue exercising their rights. Number of polling units 2,195 as well as um, we have a breakdown of Poland units here are though with 207 or yeah 190 and equally with 100 and 82 moving quickly away from there of course earlier we showed you this uh, all the 18 parties and their candidates you have their age range here it's always been between 47 if between 40 and 60 uh, a little bit over that what we saw on this list and of course the qualification some with BSc, some with diploma, some with PhD and HND, how all of that would impact only time will tell. Now, this is the picture of the major contenders in today's election. Ayo Deli Fayoshe, candidate of the People's Democratic Party. We have Koli Ajayi of the Accord Party as well as the incumbent Dr. Kadi Fayemi representing the All Progressives Congress. Now, this face is... Uh, of course, a member, current member of the House of Representatives representing the Labour Party. That's Pam Dele Okwayemi. And you see this distribution. Uh, it's local government areas of major contenders. Oye Ikiti there. Oh, you recall that um, the incubate is from Ishan. 
in Oye local government area. And then you see Irepo doing Felodo with two major contenders there, uh, candidate representing PDP as well as the candidate of the Labour Party. And Ado has the candidate for Accord Party. It's D Day for electorates in AKT. It's in contenders jostling for that seat, uh, that governor seat, and of course, who will lead the state in the next four years. The big question remains, who amongst these contenders will emerge as the governor of AKT? How exactly will the success or otherwise of election in AKT impact on the next one in Osho and of course, ultimately on the general elections in 2015? We promise to bring you all of that and you will be seeing what transpired right here on Court TV News as we bring you all the results when it's ready. I'm joined now by Bola Oba, and Bola Oba is no doubt an outstanding public affairs analyst as we begin to evaluate and review what transpired in the course of today. Welcome once again, Bola Oba. Thank you very much for the opportunity. It's good to have you join us. And good evening to your viewers. Earlier, we got feeds from our correspondents. We're still going to have more of that, and it's been relatively peaceful thus far as a matter of fact we got reaction from the major contenders who also acknowledge the fact that well it's going peaceful from what they've seen thus far and they are putting a nod to it that indeed INEC probably is doing better or has really done better from what we've seen you know earlier especially in Anambra what is the mood for you as an observer of the election in AKT thus far uh, days before D-Day, a bit of uh, despondency, despondency because uh, the security infrastructure, the security apartheid, uh, some of them went beyond uh, what ought to be their reasonable yeah. exercise of the powers incumbent on their offices. Uh, when, I, I, when a sitting governor wanting to join members of his party uh, on a rally was with his entourage inhibited from gaining access to Ikiti, mm -hmm. it that was for me an overkill. Mm -hmm. uh, what may have instructed that we don't know. But from where I'm seated, I don't see any justification for such, especially when we know that whilst the sitting governor and his, whilst the governor and his entourage were inhibited, members of, you know, notable members of uh, the opposition party were allowed free passage just about where it was uh, but Valaba, you know. honestly would you say that the presence of these governors in that mega rally would have impacted on the outcome of election in you Ikiti? see um, a gentleman was actually telling me yesterday uh, a gentleman was actually telling me yesterday that it was not impossible that fire she could win but that the events leading to the election day would stigmatize his victory as you see, things have to be done in such a way that it does not eventually boomerang to, to stigmatize or rubbish what you, must, what you may have gotten by sheer dint of diligence and, and uh, you know, resourcefulness. So, in, in whichever way, shape or form, it was a misnomer in a democracy and nothing will justify it. Yeah. Is it going to amount to, is, you know, was it going to likely amount to uh, a translation uh, into positive this thing for fire me? That would forever remain in the realm of speculation. Yeah. But the fact, the acknowledgeable fact was that an unconstitutional and undemocratic conduct was actually implemented by some, quote unquote, roguish elements of the security infrastructure that for me was bad are you saying that irrespective of the outcome of this election there's already a dent on the I total process i don't want to be that categorical uh, i don't want to be that uh, uh adventurous okay 
with my with my opinion. But you see, if I've worked diligently to get something, and people who think they are helping me went about conducting themselves in such a way that their conduct could rubbish my effort, mm. I would naturally be displaced. Okay, what would be the reason why people were literally picked from their homesteads overnight, taken to places, some dumped along the road? There was no need for that. There was no need for that. Because come to think of it, a kitty, as at today, in the political history of Nigeria, was literally, has been literally suffused with security operatives. Cumulatively, 30-something thousand security operatives, ranging from the Nigerian men and officers of the Nigerian army, men and officers of the Nigerian police, men and officers of the Nigerian civil defense are called, and what else? Um, most of these people are literally harmed. We had them comments from our viewers, uh, most of them from northern Nigeria earlier, and people are divided over the concept of militarization of the KT election. Some are saying that Nigeria is not ripe as a nation to hold a peaceful election without such heavy presence of security agencies. Look, to be honest with you, I've got nothing against the deployment of, I've got nothing against the deployment of a pronounced presence. Just a minute, Bola, but let's take this comment from our Facebook page from Olawale Koto from Jas. Ikiti has 21 political parties for today's election. Why is it uh, that only APC and PDP are making noise about harassment? Let them behave like others. We don't uh, hear Labour Party's noise and the control majority. Well, Olawale, not quite a number of people. We agree with you on that. You can, please, let's go ahead. Thank God that you, you are not imploring me to respond to that <laughs> because of, you know some questions are so so much of a conundrum mm. that you don't necessarily have to respond to them you know conundrum are questions that don't quite deserve you know a literal answer but let's be very honest with ourselves the presence of security operatives for me is is not is, is not an offense mm. you cannot afford to have Election, as we speak now, political power is the greatest business in this country. And just like when you are moving money, literally, on the roads of Nigeria, you move money, literally, in a militarized format. Political power is a form of currency in today's Nigeria. So, to forestall the likelihood of chaos and anarchy, the security operatives and the security infrastructure ought to be well defined. Mm. The only difference is why do some members of the security uh, uh, infrastructure, why do they have to go pick people up overnight? Where are they taking them to? Why, why do they have to take some people out of their houses and then dump them somewhere where they would have to walk miles to their homesteads. These are things that are somewhat typical of a banana republic. We are not in Rwanda. You know, and to be honest with you, uh, it, is, it is supposed to be a democratic contest, not a show. Of power. Details of that arrest is too sketchy because um, we cannot um, totally exonerate those who have been arrested until we find out what they did. Because the presence of military in Ikiti, no doubt, is to ensure that peace prevail. Twelve characters we are... I, I, can, oh, I can understand your circumspection as a broadcaster and a journalist. But you see, facts are facts. Twelve people were arrested from Ikiti, taken to Abuja, charged to court on the pretext of terrorism. When they got to court, the public prosecutor did what? Could not substantiate it. Mm. They would do it. Mm. That is preposterous. That is an overuse of power. When you arrested people in a kitty, you took them to Abuja, you are talking of about six to 700 kilometers, mm. the seat of power, where the opposition power 
where, where the opposition party controls all the apartheid of state and the machinery of cohesion. And when you took those guys to court, you initially leveled an, you know, an allegation of terrorism. When the lawyers told you to substantiate it, you will do it. As we patiently wait for election results um, officially from INEC, let's do some little bit of forecasting for C. The election that preceded this ended in a rerun in 2009. Do you see a repetition of that? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. You know why? Uh, because as of today, and I've been following reports since morning, and to be honest with you, I've been following, you've, you've been monitoring events too. You've got correspondence. Your station, your network has correspondence on the ground in Ekiti. Uh, for, the, for the first time in contemporary elect electoral, you know, uh, election day reportage, ballot accreditation took place just about the right time. Mm. One or two minor, minor, this thing. Apart from the fact that accreditation took place at the right time, uh. election uh, balloting, balloting has been mainly, mainly uh, trouble free. Uh. So, my brother, the only reason why anybody may have ground for litigation, which may translate into uh, the cancellation of the listing, would be for the reports that we've been hearing all day to be a negation of the fact that on the ground. Really, for the first time, we heard about how accreditation started at exactly 8 o'clock in some places, ended in at most 12, places, and then elections kick-started at 12.30. At 12.30. Well, well some, some, some are already pouring commendations on IDEC. Would you say that's too early? To be honest with you, where I am now, if one were to just oppose the conduct of a kitty's election relative to Anambra, mm. relative to a door, INEC has improved. Can one shout Uhuru yet? I'll be circumspect. Mm. I don't want to be too I don't want to be too presumptuous and too jumpy to say, oh, you know, uh, hallelujah somebody. But then, well, but then Gola, the question now is we saw a relatively peaceful process. Eh? Yeah. And you said that we can't shout Uhuru yet. What do you think would define Uhuru? We saw a relatively peaceful process mm. on D-Day, Election Day. We have a comment from Malam Dugu from Sokoto. Our past and present leaders are doing a great, uh, a good job of depriving people of education and common sense so that they can continuously and perpetually enslave them. Their children, children's children, and even the third generation to come. Good and sound education and enlightenment help you ask questions, but lack of them will make you reason in a warped and illogical manner. Okay, great contribution there, Dugu from Sokoto. Thank you so very much for joining if us. I knew you guys were bringing me for a class in philosophy. I would have, <laughs> I would have come with my note. Mm. But you see, it's very engaging. Mm. At least that philosophical postings like that are quite mm. fantastic. And it shows that beyond the conventional medium of the tube, mm. uh, you are one of these very few network, uh, ne network organizations in Nigeria that seem to be engaging well enough with its followership on, you know, online. Back to our initial discussion, uh, we saw a relatively peaceful process. What do you think could happen between now and the announcement of the result that could uh, be a deterrence from what we have now. That could be inconsistent with the dignity of the procedure we've seen thus far, mm. collation. Collation, and the beautiful part of it for me, you know, is that if there were to be any, if there were to be any uh, tukri or if there were to be any uh, chicanery, it would be easily discernible. You know why? Because as at the time, voting was concluded, you know, in virtually all the boats, mm. they did onshore collation at the boats. Mm. And at the boats, all the parties, INEC officials, security operatives took note of what was collected at the booth. Mm. So universally, it will just now be 
getting to a point at the local government summing every credible this thing together. Move from the local government to the state, summon it together, and INEC will officially will officially announce the winner. But the integrity of what will be announced must be consistent mm. with the preponderance of I think we have a call there, just a minute, Bella. This coming from Pyers calling from Akule. Hello, Pyers. Hello, Pyers. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. You're welcome. Please go ahead uh, with your contribution. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, go ahead with your contribution, uh, Pius. I think I need to commend the Independent National Electoral Commission in EPT. And uh, although I think it's high time politicians continue to embrace the spirit of sportsmanship, especially with what we have uh, had mm. in EPT elections. Go ahead, Pius. Oh, I'm afraid we lost that call. What um, he already, just like I said earlier, he also is commending INEG and talking about the spirit of sportsmanship. No, uh, we have to be very methodical the way we go about this. Mm. Pius in his remark touched on two vital issues. One is his personal commendation for INEC in the methodology, the relatively clean, the relatively transparent, the, re the relatively well-organized methodology uh, through which today's election was conducted in Okiti. Mm. Where I am too, you know, where I am too, I want to say cool, I mean, not quite have added the dough, mm. the doors to it. Mm. But I can afford to tell, you know, across the bridge and say, ah, Ogbeni, Ogbeni, Jiga, cool, but, you know, not, not the doors yet. Mm. Because I have to see it too. Well, this is your cool. Does it in any way validate whatever result we get from this election? Like I said earlier on, I've been hearing reports. Just a minute, just a minute. Um, we really appreciate our followership and viewership, so we'll give them some leverage here. Mark John from Ilawe Ikiti. The securities are not harassing anybody, and they announced what they expected from the people. Go to your polling unit with your voter cards and or have any money on you. Kilo fa janinue. Okay, that would mean there's no fight in that. I think people have problems with taking to instructions. Thank you, Mark John from Ilawe Ekiti. Now, let's go ahead from there. What do you think really makes this election as competitive as it is? 18 oh, contenders? No, 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 no. Let, let, you know, you are going into a totally, totally different. Mm. I am one who can sit here and tell you confidently that Fire She was robbed of his mandate when he was supposedly, quote unquote, impeached mm. under Obasanjo. Obasanjo practically ran Fayoshi out of town because he honestly believed that Fayoshi was not supporting his third term agenda. Mm. Fayoshi was, he is, as a person, as an individual, and I can afford to say this with a degree of, of uh, authority because Fayoshi, I have a profound acquaintanceship with Fayoshi. You know, and I mean acquaintance. But were the allegations against incredible owners? No, to be honest with you, let's be very, mm. let's, let, let's be very distant. Fire she was run out of town, you know, was practically run out of town because of Basson, because of Basson John felt he was not supportive of his third time agenda. The truth, and this may shock you, the truth was that then Fire she was very popular. If she had coasted, if he had coasted to the end of the of that first first term, I did not see. And I told Fayemi, who was also a friend in England, I told Fayemi that if she had coasted to 
the, to, to uh, this uh, his election, yeah. I I could not see anybody in the Ekiti political firmament. Just a minute, could... brother. Just a minute, brother. We have Fidelis calling from Ekiti. How are you today, Fidelis? I'm good. I just want to appreciate the effort of the guy for conducting. I'm fine. I just want to appreciate the effort of Gaga for the free and fair election he conducted. It's all right. Please go ahead. Is that all you have to say? No. And, and I want to employ everybody. Hello. Hello. I just want to say thanks and other things. Okay. Thank you for your contribution, Fidelis. It's good to hear from you. You, you were giving us a background information on so, why this election is this So, I once was, Farshay once invited me to his living room in Lagos, yeah, mm. in Antony, behind that mighty church, in that one private estate there. And he once invited me to to his living room in Lagos, and I told him, eh, bon, I said, I, I was telling him this one-on-one, -on -one, eh, bon, it's not impossible that you are a multi billionaire You should be worth in today's Nigeria. And I'm talking about, I'm talking about, this was about four, five years ago. Mm -hmm. I said, in today's Nigeria, Fayoshi, eh, bon, you should be worth a minimum of two million naira. In this shouted typical fire she in his irascible and father himself. But like you know, so to buy the seven billion, one in the seven billion what? And you see, he said he still wanted to have a go at the gubernatorial this thing. I said, you know what? If I were to swap places with you, I would just recline where the toga of an equity statesman let the field of play. And the guy told me confidently, Bola, he said there was no other thing he could do in his life for politics. But you didn't answer my question. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm analyzing individuals for you because okay. you went into, uh, you know, uh, the, the people on the I asked place. if the allegation against him at that time were credible or not. I served personally. I served almost 18 governors before I stopped being a journalist. And I served them from a very privileged position. When I was inclusive of President Ebele, Good Luck Ebele Jonathan when he was the governor in Bayesa, I was not only taking money from them, I was serving them from a vantage position because I was, I was a journalist based in England. And most times when they are passing, England, England is a leveler, London is a leveler. I relate with them as though if I say I would sit with him in his living room in London, or if I hear me, I would sit with, you know what? Virtually all of them, all of them, because of the nature of the, because of the overglorification of that office, especially by security, by security agents, mm. they always assume they're demigods. And most times... One minute, Bola. Umar is calling from Niger. <laughs> Hello? Niger State, I would. Oh, Niger State. Hello, Umar. Are you there? Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Niger State. You think I said Niger, Niger State. Yeah. Please go ahead. So, like, like I was saying, mm. if you want to be, if you want to be a, a bit finicky, and you want to be uh, very forensic in the way. Virtually all of them, inclusive, inclusive of Baba, abused yeah, in a normal democracy. Mm. Most, of, most of them would have been eligible for impeachment. Mm. So the, uh, the pretext upon which Fire she was impeached was good enough to have impeached any other governor anywhere in Nigeria. Mm. No, nothing Fire she did that any other governor did not do. But Fire she was run out of town because Baba felt he was not working his corner enough. Mm that he was popular, and I'm giving this example. He was a popular governor, because I worked for Fire to the extent that at a point, you know, at a point, I was literally obnoxious within one-on-one. -on -one. He would go for projects, I would see the way people were resp responding to him. So, and if Fire was not popular, let's be honest with ourselves, he wouldn't have emerged as the candidate of the PDP, his second time coming, mm -hmm. because, look, 
They thought they could hang him with the bag of infamy. One minute, Bola. Hello, Hubar. Hello, I'm back again. Yeah. Oh, welcome back. Please go ahead with your yeah, contribution. You yeah, I'm back again. Thank you very much. The contributor has made our day. He's speaking the minds of Nigeria. Please carry on. Bolova, you have one um, vote. Well, uh, <laughs> the, the issue here is we should not start commending INEC because they are conducting election in one state out of 36. Mm. When it comes to general election, where are we going to get all the security that they are pumping in AKT? Mm. So we should be wary of commending people before or until and unless the general election is conducted and we see the level of contribution they have made to the to development of the nation. Because if you look at it, it's just 16 local governments, one of the smallest states in the country, and uh, they were pumping security apparatus that we have never seen here, that are supposed to be elsewhere, where they are supposed to be functioning. But look, look election is not using force or all kind of uh, uh, using security to... Oh, my. Is it still there? Please. Uh, we should learn not to con not to commend INEC because they have done something in APT. Now, they have not done anything yet. Let's wait right. and see. Thank you very much for you your call, much, Omar sir. from Niger State. It's good hearing from you. Regards to everyone in Niger, he's saying it's, it will be quite too early to commend INEC at so, this particular some time. Some opinion I expressed earlier on. I want to thank uh, mm. Mohammed for joining forces with me, at least on that issue. Let's get back to the competitiveness of election in AKT. Now, now there are about three, three parties in the spotlight, PDP, APC, Labour Party, and that's not in any particular order. What do you think victory, a victory or a loss will portend for these parties regionally, and nationally and statewise? If the APC were to lose the election in the KT. Just a minute. Uh, we're being crowded by calls that everyone wants to be a part of. The, this is Akim from Ibadan. How is Ibadan Hello? today, Akim? Hello. Hello, I'm fine. Thank you, I'm Ibadan. Go ahead, Hello? Akim, with your contribution. Hello. We can hear you. Go ahead. I need to meet me. My contribution is uh, we should not by now be praising INEC. Because what we have in Nigeria is not only the physical region, but we still have scientific region. <laughs> what that man was telling you is that the, the, the INEC. Oh, my. I'm afraid we lost that. Keep yes, trying. The I number is right here on your screen. And if you can't reach us via the line, you can also join us on our social media feeds on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash cool TV news, as well as on Twitter at cool TV news NG. And of course, YouTube, it's youtube.com forward slash cool TV news. Over to you, Bola. What portends victory or loss? what it portends for these major political parties. Let's take it from the incumbent party, mm -hmm. the APC. If the APC were to lose AKT, if the APC were to lose AKT, I don't have any uh, reliable result to work with, but if the APC were to lose the AKT, it is going to be a major baggage for the nascent, nascent party. It's going to be a major baggage. It does not mean I am one who believes. I am one who is confident. Just a minute, I am minute, one Bella. who is conceited that in Oshu, Anakbe will win quite easily. Just a minute, Bella. We have a call from Cardinal. Hello, Ghana. Nah, good evening. Good evening. Go ahead with your contribution, my brother. Okay, good evening. Hello? I'm with my you, Ghana. Question. Go ahead with your contribution. Yes. Okay, my 
most of the callers who give uh, an answer to Mr. Jedia. In the situation whereby we have a provincial election, where is it going to stay? Now we are conducting an election in the state where they have 16 local government. In the situation whereby we have seven or seven, seven or seven or seven four local, where is it going to stay? Is it going to stay in Jega or in Atitoke or at Akwanda? <laughs> It's all right. Thank, Thank you. you very much for your question again. That regards to everyone I mean, in, another rhetorical question in that Kaduna. We should, it looks like um, question that we should maybe have. we should get back to INEC for a while before we move ahead with this. No, thing. you see, I, I said it earlier mm. on. You were doing your job by probing me, mm. wanting to debunk the integrity of my submission. Mm. But where I am now, I cannot go to town to celebrate INEC because... Uh, the conduct of the election, the conduct of the accreditation and balloting today, we've not even finished today, you know, yeah. because apart from accreditation and balloting, you would have collation at the point of casting the votes, at the ward level, at the local government level, and at the state level. Yeah. Thus far today, the news we've been hearing, especially from independent entities like your correspondents on the ground, which I've been monitoring all day, I would want to say relative to the malady that took place in Anambra yeah. and the somewhat, uh, somewhat disoriented reportage we were hearing from Edo, today's news thus far has been edifying. Is it yet Iuru, Bola Oba will say, this is my own moment of circumspection. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to go to town yet. We have live feeds. This is from AKT. And what we wonder what's happening there. It looks like a lot of people still crowded there. As a matter of fact, on the queue. Is this live uh, or? Yes, this is live. From, uh, we'll definitely have details on what is transparent If this there. is live, mm -hmm. then something is wrong. Because you're not really balloting or to have mm -hmm. ended. Well, let's, um, let's um, as we live. go on, it's not live? It's not live. It's, it's all right. Live. Okay, this is a recap of what we showed to you earlier. But then, you made mention of um, Anambra State. What do you think is the difference between what happened in Anambra? Because INEC had every resource that it has now to play with with in Anambra. W would you say there's any political interest? No, 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 no. Uh, 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 or, or what factor is responsible for the let's, sudden change? Let's uh, be very circumspect with uh, opinionation and let's get into the best fact. Mm. INEC eventually acknowledged the fact that one of its officers betrayed INEC. And compromised. And compromised. The case should still be in court because I have not had any final judgment on it, but INEC was in fact very vehement about prosecuting the person uh, concerned. Mm. That is one. Number two was that INEC seemed to have learned too from the from the Anambra embarrassment. Why am I saying I, INEC seemed to have learned? In the past, INEC would take election materials on the very morning of the election day and would be trying to get election materials to all the nooks and crannies of the state. Mm. Some states are bigger than the other. To this election, uh, to this, this thing was held in a state that is relatively smaller. If you're talking of Oyo, or you're talking like of a state like Kano, or this thing may be totally different. Because if the field of pay is that large, the logistics too will be, will be tasked. So, but I learned one thing from Anambra. Instead of, this, instead of dispensing electoral material on the very morning of the election day, they have learned now to do a strategic deployment a day or so, be, a day or so before yeah. to approximate place to a number of votes and then distribute easy. Today seemed to have worked well. You see, where I am, I originally should be celebrating INEC. Mm. My only fear is that 
We, it is incumbent on people like me to... One minute, Bola. We have a call from AKT. This is Kule. Hello, Kule. Hello, sir. Welcome, Kule. Go ahead with your contribution. Yes, my contribution is this. AKT election was ahead and meets a very tight security. And if anybody says that it's a scientific rigging or any form of rigging, such a person is lying. You know, there is no rigging in AKT. We are a very perfect free and fair election in AKT. So somebody can up to that in Chaduma or anywhere and speak nonsense. You know, we have every security you can think of in Nigeria in AKT. We have the police, we have the Air Force, we have the military. You know, this is a very good system, and I give kudos to Jaga. That's the contribution. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Kule, for your contribution. We'll encourage our callers to be as civil and objective as they can as they begin to give us their comments from their respective location. But um, from... If I were to swap places with Kule, mm -hmm. I may not have mm -hmm. said anything different because Kule is in a state of euphoria. Mm -hmm. uh, if, you've, if you've gone through a day that ought to be a day of, uh, of infamy in mm -hmm. your state, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's ended in relative, in relative peace, and you, you could, you feel there's a positive reflection mm -hmm. of uh, what you believe to be the aspiration of the people. Mm -hmm. You will be as ecstatic and as euphoric as Kune, and I really want to congratulate above all. You see where I am today, I am going to be very, very um, generous with congratulating the AKT electors mm. because uh, elections don't only fail or election day madness don't only occur because of the EMB that is the election management board uh, body mm. alone mm. this in this instance INEC mm. elections also fail or succeed as a result of the conduct of the electors the AKT, we've seen We've seen footages all day. Equity electors went to the poll, did the accreditation peacefully, mm. went home, came back, lined up, voted. But, but, but with the so mood we saw, me, with Kunle's mood that we felt over the phone, uh, are you of the opinion that this would mean that whatever result has been announced by ANEC will be accepted in good faith where by I am, the people of Equity? Where I am now, and this is Bola I am not the spokesperson of the APC, nor am I the spokesperson of the PDP or, or the or Labour Party. Where I am now, I think whatever result that may come out of today's conduct should not be denied of integrity. Mm. Thus far, mm. because, you know, I'm not omnipresent. Just a minute, Bola. We have another call from Abel Kuta. This is Ola Awode. Welcome on board, Ola. How are you today? Hello. Hello, Ola. Go ahead with your contribution. Yeah, hello. Uh, you're asking a question from the guest, and he did not give us the straight answer. He just put it around the point about it. We want to know the reason why Fire was in pitch. Hmm. Because Fire is one of the Abbas uh, uh, soldiers. Close guy. We want to know the reason why he was in peace. Please, can you go ahead and ask him the question again? So that I, I know you're the journalist. I want you to listen and listen carefully. Obasanjo is one, if I were to be a politician, I would not be near him in a million miles. One of the most erratic, one of the most undependable, one of the most unreliable politicians who could, who could join forces with. As at the time the fire show was, in, was impeached, I was actually a friend of Fire Shea. Fire Shea was impeached for some reasons that we cannot say on here, but I must be very honest with you. There was nothing that Fire Shea did that no, no sitting governor then did not do. Fire Shea was impeached essentially because Baba overheard from his rumor mill. And that is Baba Abbasanjo for you. Mm. He overheard from his rumor mill that the ostensible support that Fire Shea was giving him was not. Well, you know, was just a veneer of support that it, it was not it was not deep. But Bola, and, Bola, and to be honest with you, just hang on for a moment, Bola. The question I asked you that I believe piqued him Ola's interest would be differentiating between the personality 
and then the credibility of the allegation that was brought against him. You see, you speak too much grammar, and I think I also <laughs> went to school. A woman died sending me to school. And okay. you, know, you know what? The truth be told, a simple grammar, or maybe I should say it in broken. That the the then equity, equity House of Assembly was muzzled by Baba to impeach him. to drama of impeachment of Fayoshe to the drama of impeachment of Latoja in Ibadan. This was the era when when the uh, when the federal government would use the the uh, the intelligence infrastructure to muzzle parliamentarians and put them in Buka. And they were impeaching people as though this thing. Oh, look, the fact speaks for itself. Fire or she defeated PhD holders, people carrying, parading the personal certificates in PDP scheduled election. Well, well, let us move away from oh, them because this... No, let us see, this, let's um, see on it. This interview... So I can't be more... I can't be more... Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on a minute, Bola. This interview isn't about any personality. Uh, of course, we have to... Uh, answer all uh, that question, but let's get I back to I hope you're satisfied. You. But you see, Baba, sure Baba, Baba mm. is a... We deal respect. Look, I have taken people twice to Abbasando's house and I refused to go in. But let's get that back to... how much I love the man. Let's get back to the issue uh, of... A man who has no integrity, you cannot cut an agreement with him and walk away and know that you are, you are standing on good ground. But, uh, well, you have uh, a right to your own opinion, and we must state categorically that Bola Oba's opinion it's is not opinion. in any way associated with court TV oh. news opinion. But let's move away from that because we're not discussing personality here. We're discussing AKT election 2014. How do you think that the outcome of this election would impact on the forthcoming one in Osho and ultimately on the 2015 general election i am one that is not as generous as most analysts would be about one uh, uh, one election automatically rubbing on the other mm. i look at the characters on the field of play i look at the historical and cultural predisposition of the electorate and you ultimately look at performance to be honest with you i want to believe that if this election, if Fayemi wins, it has not given APC any additional state. Just a minute. Um, let's take this call. This is from Benin. Peter. Wabu here. Are you there, Peter? Yes. Please go ahead with uh -huh. the contribution. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, this is Peter. Go ahead, Peter. We're yes, with you. Uh, I want, I want to, I want to, I want, uh, I want your guest. Okay. I want, I want that question. That question. The reason why Fayoshe was in peace in the state. I want that man to answer that question. Let him ask. It. Let him answer that question. Because Fayoshe <laughs> is not the, is not the popular gov gov governor in in the old. Nigeria. Well, Peter, I'm sure that Gola already addressed that. This forum is not about any personality and we would not allow it to degenerate to that. Please, let's go ahead. <laughs> Do not make any comment on that. <laughs> What's your next question? We, we were talking about the impact of the outcome of this election on the forthcoming one in Osho as well as the general election in 2015. I don't see an automatic reflection of one on the other. Mm. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, the character of Aregbe is totally, totally. Look, where I'm seated now, and I'm talking from the privileged position of, of having been a bit somewhat close to Fayemi, uh, on having known Fayemi, and, you know, and knowing Aregbe, not too close to him, but having related one, once or twice with him. The personalities are totally different. Fire me, intellectual, intellectual, somewhat may be perceived to be standoffish, mm. thoughtful, methodical. You understand? And that to a, a very hungry electorate mm. may make him seem distant and very dislocated. 
or totally disconnected. Some of the things were so. Aregbe is a traditional. Look, Aregbe is one of the very few gods. Hang on. Hang on for a while, Bola. We have Sunday from Adwe Kitty. How are you today, Sunday, this Saturday? I'm fine, my honorable son. Indeed, honorable. Hello, Go ahead sir. with your contribution, Sunday. I'm fine, uh, sir. Please. Uh, I want to ask my honorable dear, please. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, 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 we can. Go ahead, please. Yeah, you see, Saoche was not in peace, is that we say. Because during those times, we were here in a great state. You see, I'm a full indigenous of a great state here. And we had all what is happening between Baba Obasanjo and so called our amiable governor, Saoche, then. You see, I, I can call it, uh, I can call it a misunderstanding between both of them. Because none of, none of us know anything that is going on between both of them. I, I, I can see the father and son. Hello, sir. I'm with you. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're with you. I, I, I can see it as the father and son having some issues together. And it has been settled amicably between both of them. Mm. Okay? It has been settled. So there's nothing asking the honorable day that well, what is the what is what was the problem between the Obasan Joe and the Sunday, Sunday, nothing has been settled in two thousand and the Obasan Joe. Even now in the Christ State here, we have a very peaceful and the most credible relationship today in the Christ State. Yes. It's all right, Sonia. Thank you very much for your contribution. I, I Good to hear from you. I it looked like you touched a very soft part of people's hearts with that the, comment. I think the gentleman may be conflicting issues. Mm. Today's election in Nikiti was, for me, thus far, given the reports I've been hearing, thus far free and fair. Mm. But Sunday, believing that Obasanjo and uh, Fire Shea will never settle with Obasanjo, personal that he told me in his living room. And it should, if I were to swap places with him, I will never settle with Thomas Ojo. But is that good for our politics as my a brother, nation? My brother, in politics, in anywhere, in any jurisdiction, in any democracy, even in the best of them, people tend sometimes to loathe each other. Each other. It doesn't really, if I were to swap places with Fayashi, given what he did for Baba, and I'm talking as somebody who knows, Given what he did for Abbasanjo and the reward that Abbasanjo accorded him, I will never, even in his grave, I will not forgive him. Let's get back to the what issues. Um, let's get back to the issues. What what we saw played out in the AKT election was um, what I can describe as political mobility. We saw people changing political parties and political affiliation like they are changing clothes. You recall that um, the PDP candidate, after losing out, once supported the AC, the Action Congress of oh, Nigeria, yes. we saw Bamadele Okpayemi moving away from AC or APC rather. Oh, yes. oh, he said he's a part of AC and not APC, and then he moved to the Labour Party. We've seen a lot of the most amazing, many will say, is the recent defection of Shegoni, okay. who Fayemi won at the courts to APC. Okay, before we get to that, let's take this call. Hello? Hello, anyone there? Okay, we'll get back to that. What do you think this lack of political ideology, what impact do you think it has on the quality of politics in we Nigeria? We're living in an era, and it's worse, the face of politics is worse in an inchoate, in an inchoate democratizing state like Nigeria. Mm. You are living in an era where politics is almost totally devoid of ideological conviction even in the West. Look, I was a partisan politician in England. And when I supported Thatcher, you know, Margaret Thatcher then, I supported Thatcher because some core values of Thatcher. You know, initially people criticized her. I could see the translation of the economy. I could see how there was a time when in England you wanted a telephone line. Just a minute, Gola. We have a call from Usman Isa from Cardinal. Hello, good evening, Usman. Uh, uh, good evening, how are you? I'm terrific. Please uh, go I'm ahead with your contribution. Adam, uh, see, that, 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 that man, is he campaigning for a government after election? 
It's all right. Thank you very much, um, Usman, all the way from Kaduna, I suppose. Thank you for your contribution. Everyone has a right to their opinion. Let's get back to the impact of this moving around, this ease of moving from one party to the other Look, on our politics let's, let's in Nigeria. Really, let's be really honest ourselves. There was a time even in the West when you knew that the Labour Party was more pro-left, was more pro-socialism, Mm. And the Conservative Party was more pro capitalism at a point when Tony Blair became the Prime Minister of the Kingdom, United Kingdom, Tony Blair was more right than left. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Socialism collapsed, the Soviet Empire collapsed, all the neophyte states of the of the East collapsed, and everybody rallied round towards the middle. And so you can either be slightly to the to the left of capital of basing capitalism or a little to the right. Mm -hmm. Am I making a point? Mm -hmm. But in a jurisdiction like ours, it has actually defaced the face of of ideology in politics. So we are basically now chasing, and it's, it's more, even more dangerous in our crime because we are basically now defining politics by either our tie, our religion or indeed personalities that we have liking or dislike for. Mm -hmm. Am I making a point? So it's in an environment like that, it is just come and shop politics. If you are not giving me my shop shop here and now, I will move here to a place where they have promised me, you know, my come and shop. All that OPEC wanted was initially when he left Lagos as a commissioner, a commissioner in Lagos, he went to a kitty wanting to become a senator. Unfortunately, the party establishment did not uh, give him the senatorial, this thing that he, he felt he won at the shadow election of the party. The party gave him a conciliatory position of being a member of the House of Reps. Be, having been a, a commissioner in Lagos before, he believes he's bigger than the position of the House of Reps. You know, the, the ongoing while I was on, and I think the party elders mismanaged it. Because you see, where I'm seated now, of all the three major candidates in Ekiti, the only person I'm not too close to is Ope. But where I am now, I'm of the, I'm of the opinion that if Ope were to be reassured that in 20 whatever, the next election after this, that the, the son-in-law of Ashwaju was not going to be the automatic candidate of APC, as the gubernatorial district, Papa would have stayed in AP, APC. Just a moment, Bola. We have Gabriel from Adwekiti. How are you today, Gabriel? Oh, I think we lost that call. Keep trying. The number is flashing on your screen. If you can reach us via the phone lines, please do on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash Court TV News. Twitter is Court TV News NG and YouTube. It's youtube.com forward slash Court TV, Liver Space and News. My question really, Bola, is this, this issue of people being jumping able around. jumping around, how does it impact on the quality of leadership that is made available to the people because the bottom line is people now vote based on party selection because as we speak now there is still no room for independent candidature but in our not politics the, it's, not the, it's, not, it's in one of the proposals at the ongoing are, national are, conference are, you, you you know you work with what you have mm. what we have now is such that it is the party that the people are voting for we have a call bola this is gabriel hello gabriel Hello, sir. Good evening. Good evening. How is Adoe Kitty this evening? Well, well done. No. We are seeing you cleaning Adoe Kitty. Well done. Good to hear from you. What's the mood like now in Adoe Kitty? So, it is the is peaceful today. Before this day, I will be voting in election day. It's my best day. 
that I can say Nigeria is, 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 is good and no insecurity. Security level. It's all this day that I have been voting. It's only today that I make up my mind that from today, if there's any election, I will be voting continuously. So, uh, hello, Gabriel, are you there? Okay. I think we lost that. Please, when you're calling us, enable to turn down the volume of your TV set so that we can do without that feedback distortion. Quite inspiring that most of our callers today um, are no, believing in the electoral even, process. Even before your callers start and making this kind of uh, positive remarks mm. about the conduct of the election, your reporters on the ground, mm. reporters of other, other stations on the ground have been filing in reports of a relatively well-conducted election. Mm. You know, so what else would want? I cannot, I don't want to congratulate INEC yet. But you see, fair is fair. They seem to have gotten this right. Mm. But my circumspection is literally based on the fact that, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's not, uh, how, how do they say it? It's not ended until, you know, up, until it's, it's not ended. It's not over until it's over. It's, uh, it's over. not over mm. until it's over. Because collision is still there and announcing the result is still there. We have another call, Bola. This is from Shegun Ajayi in Adwekiti. How are you tonight, Shegun? Shegun, are you there? Yes, yeah, uh, good evening. Hello? Good evening, Shegun. Hello? Go ahead, Shegun. We can hear you. The election was peaceful at uh, at Doikiti today. Yes, the people have spoken. At least they've used their power, and uh, they have voted for who they want. For the first time in the history, you know, of election in the state, it was peaceful and fair. So nobody can say there was violence in any polling booth. And this is exactly what we've been saying. You know, and so it's a claim generally to be peaceful, and uh, you know the people have spoken. You know, so that's the situation. Everybody is just eager, waiting for the declaration of the winner of the election. It's all right. Thank you very much, Shegun, for your contribution. You heard him. <laughs> he has said nothing that is inconsistent mm, mm, with what I've been saying. From the very moment I came on here, you asked me of my opinion about today's conduct, and I said, thus far, it's been, it's been edifying, the news we've been hearing. Mm -hmm. I've never heard that in one um, polling booth somebody snatched uh, this thing. And I'm talking of reportage from credible organizations like yours. Mm -hmm. So if Shagun is telling me, if Gabriel is telling me, they're only telling me things that are consistent with the reportage filed in from the field by reporters. One of the characteristics that um, showed forth in the, uh, 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 how do I put it now, those issues that came up before this election is the idea of attaching votes to personalities. They would tell you that um, so this old person is from this part of the state. Oh, we have another call. This is Akindele Aluko. Hello, Akindele. Okay. Good evening, Akidele. Welcome to Court TV News. Please go ahead with your contribution. Thank you very much. How are you, sir? Oh, thank you. Very terrific. Please your, go ahead with the contribution. Your program this morning. Mm. And particularly, my name is Connie from Ibadan. I think I start with this uh, television since 6 a.m. or 50 hours. Thank you very much for giving me a live program. I'm from Ikiti, too. Mm. Uh, I really appreciate your program. Yeah, I think that uh, if PDP won this election, it will be in next for next four years. That's our contribution. Thank you very much. I didn't get that. Before you go, can you go over that again? 
Oh, we lost that. If we can reach Hello. us again, we'll appreciate that. I really didn't get what you said. <laughs> it's all right. Let's move away from there. This idea, mm, this idea of, um, this idea of attaching votes to individuals. They tell you that so 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 person will deliver so 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 place to so 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 party. I mean, when exactly will we move away from that level of people determining what happens to the real voters? making decision based no, 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 on no. issues. I, I think I think you are a bit unfair to the Ekiti electorate. I'm not referring to the Ekiti election here. Uh, I'm talking uh, about generally no, but in our see, politics in Nigeria. Uh, but you see, politicians tend to do that all over the world. But the truth is that ultimately in a free and fair election, the voters, the electors, define who they want. Mm. Oh, because uh, because somebody says Agbala will deliver a motion does not mean that the people of Bushi will vote for uh, the party that Agbala is supporting. We have had instances of people being mercilessly de defeated in places where you know they should ordinarily be strong. We have a caller from Abuja. Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, Bawa. What? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, good evening, sir. You're welcome. Please go ahead Please, with your I contribution. Have, I have just a question to ask this. I have a question to ask this man that is this. Okay. This is your, your, your guest. Your guest. Please go ahead. So, how. Keep on talking, don't listen to yourself. Just talk, make your point straight. Okay, please, and able to turn down the volume of your TV time. set. I think it's about time you get some house rules. When you are on directly to the studio, you. turn down the volume mm. of your TV set totally. And once you've started talking, instead of listening to the uh, reflection of your voice, just continue making your point. Much more than that, we appreciate the, your efforts in trying to call and bear your mind. Please keep trying. Just turn down the volume of your TV set. And of course, we'll have your opinion live on Core TV News, dedicated or, or eight hours to keep you up to date to with what is happening in Ekiti State. Uh, you, you, you were talking about this particular idea of people delivering areas as obtainable everywhere in the world? Look, let me give you a simple example. Every party, every party that I know of functions, and I'm, I'm not talking about Africa, I'm talking about say in America or in European democracies. Mm. Every party has a way of either networking with the local party or networking with the local party chieftain mm. to be reassured that it would still have entrance into a particular area. It's not this thing. Let me give you a typical example. The person ruling in Germany today, if you get to uh, if you get to Munchen, you know, this, uh, uh, the state where you have the city of Munich, okay. uh, the party that is ruling in that area of Germany is different from the national party, national party, but they are always in political alliance. They are always. The CDU and the uh, Christian, this thing in there. So, look. I, I was a politician in England. I should know what I'm talking about. Just a minute, Gola. God gave us calling from Onisha. How are you tonight? Hello. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Please go ahead with your contribution. I want to know the outcome of the coalition. Well, the coalition and counting is still ongoing. Be sure that we'll keep you up to date as soon as Anik announces the result. Uh We'll keep you up to date, God give, as soon as Anik announced the result. It's a wrap. Hello? Okay, God give. Nobody get the answer now. 
Ainek never announced the result. So when Ainek announced the result, officially they go announce her. But nobody feels they engage in speculation now. It don't make sense. It's all right. Let's move away from there back to what you were talking about. So that mm. is you know, that is very traditional with democracies. Mm. Yeah, you think you think you just emerge as the presidential candidate of any of the two major parties in America? Look, as a, as we are talking now, it is being speculated that Hillary Clinton will likely emerge as the candidate of the Democratic Party, even when she is still denying that she wants to contest. Mm -hmm. You know why people are speculating that it's going to be Hillary Clinton? Because of the national network of national networking assets that her husband had built mm -hmm. whilst he was the president. Why did the look? Would you think any any American uh, elector? would have taken Bush the Jr. serious if the network of his father, when he was the CIA chief, and when he also became the vice president and ultimately the president of Africa uh, of America, was not in place? Then there's no perfect democracies. Then there's not the perfect democracy, don't, don't let's fool ourselves. So in some areas, in some jurisdictions, some of these things are only done better oh. than the other. We have a call from Hazan. Hello, Hazan, how are you today? Hello, Azan. Are you there? Good evening. Good evening. Please Good evening. go ahead with your contribution. Yeah, I'm there. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, right. Please, gentlemen, let the election be peaceful. I only am directing my speech to be mine in front of you. You see, we need peace in this country. We need peace. Let there be peace. We don't want you to fight with anybody, either by or anybody that wants. Let there be peace. Because we remember what happened on your mobile home, and we don't want it to happen to the bad land anymore. Bye bye. That would no, that would not possibly right. that would not possibly happen. In an election that was free and fair, mm. I, I just said, Omo Borio happened because the electors of Ekitide, the electors of Ondo they then believed that their votes were stolen. Today, the reportage we've been hearing is such that the, the ball accreditation was done peacefully, balloting was done peacefully. We can only believe that if accreditation was done peacefully, balloting was done peacefully. Coalition should also be peaceful. Would you say that the electorate is more enlightened now as we get um, not responding to being cheated with violence? You don't know what people may do if they were cheated. But thus far today, as a presenter in, of this uh, news organization, thus far today, have you ever had any news that is somewhat perturbing about the conduct of how the day has gone? I don't suppose I've had that from your network. Mm. So why would anybody protest? People protest only when they believe, honestly believe, that their votes have been stolen. But if they went about accreditation, it was peaceful. They went about uh, casting their votes, it was peaceful. In most of the polling booths, the, 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 the votes were counted. People registered it. Why would there be any, uh, some of your viewers, some of the things, some of the remarks that some of your viewers and I don't suppose anybody in this studio has called for, has called for rioting. Why would anybody call for rioting where a peaceful election was conducted? Earlier on in the day, there is this heated debate as regards the huge amount, the huge number of military personnel that were deployed to but you had Gabriel, Ekiti State. You, you had people calling in from Ado Ekiti, mm. another part of Ekiti, saying that although the presence of the military was pronounced, but they were allowed to go about. Somebody even told you on air. We also had a call. Would... We had a call from one of our correspondents who said that um, their movement was aimed at by uh, a certain mobile policeman who said that there was no movement, that there's been an embargo on movement from a particular period of time to the other. But my question is uh, would you agree that the success of this election thus far can anyway be tied with the militarization of this part of the country you see in africa i am very circumspect about over celebrating things like this the reason why today's election was peaceful relatively peaceful in the kitty
could be quote unquote could be because of the large presence of security operatives. Mm. The reason why today's election was relatively peaceful, as reported thus far in Ekiti, could be just because people feel it's just about casting my vote mm. and going back to my house. But where the balance is, you know, I've been in democracies before and I've seen, I've seen electioneering uh, campaigns and balloting. I am not one who ordinarily would celebrate over militarization. Okay. But if, if militarization would help to curtail violent exuberances, I will, I'm not against it. You know, what people get skeptical is the idea that people, this arm of the military is a tool in the hand of a particular government. Brother, How do you react to if that? If people got too skeptical, they, mm. should, they wouldn't have come out. If they were intimidated, they wouldn't have come out. The turnout of... Well, like just a minute, we have a call from Magaji from Abuja. Hello, good evening, Magaji. Uh, good evening, sir. Welcome to Court TV News. Please go ahead with your contribution. Hello, good evening, sir. Go uh, ahead, please, please with your contribution. Professor, happy long life and prosperity. We wish you the same. Uh, my contribution is uh, I wish a uh, uh, free and fair election. It's all right. That is my contribution. Oh, thank you very much for your contribution, Magaji. Good to hear from you. But how far away, Gola, would you say that Nigeria if, is? If from... the militarization, mm. if the militarization was intimidating to the electorate, mm. they wouldn't have turned out. How far away do you think Nigeria is as a nation to have an election, successful and peaceful election, without heavy military presence? Because in 2015, see, there is possibility that Nigeria would not have the luxury. We, you know, of the military tend, that we, we have we, in the We tend to over accentuate the uh, overpronounced military presence. This is the only jurisdiction I know where, if you're conducting an election or on the particular day of election, life comes, life becomes totally comatose. Mm. You are not supposed to move from from your house to your next door neighbor's house. If that your the borders were closed 6 p.m. Uh, you know, on um, Friday. This is the only Friday. jurisdiction I know. After the last general well, first election. Day after the last general election in, in uh, South Africa, a concert was held. And I've been, I voted, I voted. I, in fact, I was a candidate of, of the Conservative Party in England that was voted for. Just Movement a minute. Was not curtailed. Just a minute, Bola. Femi is calling from Oshobo. How are you tonight, Femi? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Welcome to Court TV News. Please go ahead with your contribution. Okay, my contribution is whatever this uh, program may be, I mean, you, know, you have to comment on the election that, uh, you know, uh, that they, they were going to be. Not, I'm talking to, I'm, I'm direct my contribution to the man that's in, in the front of the, my the center. Don't, um, don't harass a person that's well known in Nigeria on in, on in this on this program like this, you don't have to do that. Please, whatever you want to address, address normal. Don't abuse anybody on here like this. And if you are if you are talking, if if you are if you are in the party or party A, party B, don't let don't let your your contribution or your your opinion based on one party or another. Please, I just that because you are talking about Obama and and you are you are saying that Obama and is not a so -so -so -so, not a so -so -so -so. No, you can't you can't just talk like that. You are not a. Everybody is listening to you. That's my opinion. Your opinion is yours, and I respect it. I don't. I don't. Yes, all right. Thank, Thank you very you much, much, Femi, for, his opinion is his opinion. My opinion is my opinion. for your contribution. Great, good to hear from you. Let I'm, I'm in Oshobuna, but I, I, I'm, calling, I'm calling home time to time, time to time. What, what, uh, what, what is happening? What is happening? And my people is telling me the, 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 
the outgoing the election, how it's going, how is everything is being there, and we thank God. If you go to party B, thank God. If you go to party B, thank God. But adopt as you are address people on here. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you very much for your contribution, Femi, once again, all the way from Mushu. With the numbers flashing on your screen, please, we would love to hear from you from wherever in and outside Nigeria. We're talking about the militarization of election. You see, this is the only jurisdiction I know that on election day, life is literally granted. Mm. You know? Uh, and let's be very honest with ourselves. This is also one of the very few jurisdictions that I know where politics is the biggest business in in the market mm. so and you know anywhere in the world if you are moving money <laughs> money is literally followed by every degree of uh, every every presence of security mm. it, it, it may just be, be for deterrence so politics is the ultimate money making machine mm. in nigeria and uh, <laughs> it is, we have what we have but it is that normal laws if one were to just oppose it with a number of other jurisdictions. It's all right. You see, apart from the fact that um, some elections in Nigeria were not won by the polls, but in the courts, it, the last e election in Ekiti was won mm. in the courts, Anabra, Edo, Ondo, No, you must be very rest. careful not to present it that way because mm. the courts were not just... Uh, were not just, just a minute. Results from we have the, um, <laughs> Oloroni Shola from Ado Ekiti. Yes. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Please go ahead with your contribution. I'm speaking from my city. Go ahead. hear you. Please, we we'll appreciate if you can call us back or from Ado AKT. Thank you very much for your contribution. Let's talk about the attitude of our politicians, especially to results of election. Oh, okay, just before that, we were talking about, I, I said that the elections were won in court. You didn't agree with me? No, I'm, I'm telling you to be very careful the way you present it, mm. as though the courts just, uh, the courts just sat and just plucked the results of their pronouncements from the no, air. No, it, the, a no, of what I was saying was obvious that the uh, winner, the eventual winner, and the right winner of that election emerged after the court sat. Initially, for example, oh, well, yeah. in AKT. Okay, the, the, you, you, I like, you, I like mm, the phraseology, mm. the eventual winner and the right <laughs> winner. <laughs> but my uh, question here would be that, um, what do you think uh, it should be the attitude of our politicians to defeat. You saw, you saw the United States of America election mm. close to an hour, just um, uh, barely an hour after the results were announced. But Romney was out congratulating Barack Obama and looking forward to working with him. How long more do we have to same, wait to see that was, in Nigeria? It was in the state. It was in the same United States of America mm. that our girl went to court. Mm. It's just the person of. Just a minute, Salam Usman is sending us this message from Sokoto. The election is peaceful here in AKT. Let the detractors of goodwill find their way out of our cities. They wanted to come and foment trouble, but uh, uh, there we are no longer going to be led like sheep to the slaughter. The winner has already matched. What we are guarding against is the robbery of our mandate will protect our vote. Well, th there seems to be some contradiction there. Salam, Salam Usma the from Sokoto, and then uh, you, you're sounding much like you uh, are no, in maybe, AKT. Maybe your mm. people who mm. got the, this thing got it wrong. <laughs> it's because a we've, we're, had, we've had Niger mm. spelled Niger before. Mm. It could be the error Just a little of, uh, mix up there. Yeah. But then, as a matter of fact, let's look at the history of things in Nigeria. Almost all elections end up in court. Presidential election, governorship election, 
name it. It seems that this culture of, of accepting defeat is far away from Nigeria let me shock politically. You. Let me shock you. You have, go, you have asked me a very pointed question, and I like giving some very practical examples sometimes when I'm answering some questions. Yeah. Why is it that nine out of ten times siblings fight over the inheritance of their parents and they go as far as go to court? Mm. And in their very presence, they will see what ought to have been an economic plus for them be degenerating. Mm. That is at the level of the family. Mm. If we don't know how to sometimes, you know, work based on compromise at the level of the family, how can we be gracious and be, very, and be gallant in defeat at the level of the public? Yeah. It is in our nature to sometimes be very, very megalomaniacal. We sell them as a people. It's easy to, to be pointing accusing fingers at our politicians. Are they from Mars or are they from Venus? Mm. Typical Nigerian. Have you driven on the road? Have you driven on the Lagos road before? I don't usually drive in Abuja. I have a business there. But when I go there, I get chauffeur driven. Have you driven in Lagos before? Look at the mentality of an average person who ordinarily, and I drive in countries, I've driven in countries like Germany uh, and uh, United Kingdom before. Somebody who should ordinarily, graciously give, oblige you the right of way, and you will even say thank you. <laughs> to go to, to, he wants, you know, like, like he could wrap the road mm -hmm. as soon as he finished uh, driving on it. Mm -hmm. Wrap it and put it in the pocket. And We are not too gracious a people. And our politicians will reflect who we are. Mm -hmm. That is the fact. So now that, that question always arises when we talk about, okay, we have a call now, Balogo calling us from Lagos. Hello, good evening, Balogo. Yeah, hold on, sir. Welcome to Court TV News. Please go ahead with your contribution. Hello. Well, with you, Balogo, yeah. go ahead with your contribution. First of all, I want to ask the man with you. Is this, is this? Hello? Go ahead, Balogo. Is this coming from me today? Is it coming from Mickey Hello. today? He, if I may answer for him, that's a no. Is it coming from Mickey today? No, Balogo. Okay. Then he was talking like it's, that it's like that he was at the city. You know this election you are telling us now that it's free and fair election. We, I am with you people there since absolutely. We saw one of your crew members telling you that they didn't allow them to move. And if you even mention that AIT is with, with him at that right time. That's right. During Abiola regime, Abiola war won Agbada with that logo of uh, this. Uh... Today, how many umbrellas have you seen there? Assuming it's another party that all that logo with that umbrella with those security agents that were there they will collect all the umbrella from their hands mm. that's my own contribution thank you very much balago calling us from lagos we'd love to hear from you too please do so while you can as we bring you live feeds from akt and of course all hands are crushed uh, waiting patiently for the official release of the result of course um, counting is ongoing collation is ongoing as we speak 18 contenders just one person will emerge as a winner except otherwise we have to uh, 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 we didn't meet the uh, recommend uh, 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 the prescription of the constitution of um, the, the percentage, law. the electoral roll, and the percentage of the vote that an individual needs to get to win the election. Of course, um, our social media feeds are there. Facebook, it's facebook.com forward slash court TV news. And you can stream us live on YouTube. All you need to do is go to our website. It's www.courttvnews.com forward slash live TV. We have a call from Ondo. Hello, Adiola. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to Court TV News. Please go ahead. Thank you very much. I'm calling. Hello. Go ahead. We're with you. Okay. My contribution is about the speech of the of your invited guest. 
Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Adiola. Hello. Please go on. We are with you. Uh -huh. So every, everybody, everybody has his own right. Freedom of speech. Yes, freedom of speech to express his mind. You understand? So even if, uh, if you could be governor or president, maybe we think we can talk and correct him. But what that man has said about Dr. Tonjo was whatever that people was talking rubbish about. I don't, I'm not in support of that. Let anything that is bad is bad. Whatever is good is good. This very person they were talking of, in which I'm, I'm talking the person of Ayo uh, Fayo now, that they were talking of now. I was in a city by that time. I didn't see anything wrong that that man has done, that he was totally in peace. So, about. Talking to that man is as if that is why the, the Nigeria problem is increasing day on day basis. If anybody does wrong, does something that is wrong, let's correct him or let's talk to him. Even in America, in advanced country, if they, if they are if they are governor or president made any mistake, they will protest. They will protest, they will they will express their own mind. So I didn't see in a situation where that people will just be talking to the man that uh, what he has said. What is wrong is wrong. What is good is good. What he has done was wrong. And I'm in support of that, that the man expressed his own mind. I'm expressing my own mind now. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Adiola. Uh, Gola Oba, you have a second vote. I'm persuaded that if you were one of the contenders, you would have, you know, failed no, and lost it, it, out in this only, election look, outright. Let me tell you something <laughs> about the person you're talking to. Uh, I used to obnub a lot with a lot of politicians. In fact, I told you, before I was invited back to Nigeria by a major politician, I was working for about 18 governors. I was making money, minting money from them. And I mean serious money. Money that some people will hear and run away. Yeah, we have to uh, in also investigate uh, you uh, and the credibility uh, of the uh, money uh, that I'm you coming. made. Oh, yes. Because I, you know what? Mm. When I moved to Nigeria and I saw, you want me to shock you? The day I go to Yobe for the first time, Dabaturu, I was crying. I was crying because I felt like a thief. Mm. I was collecting good money from the then governor of Yobe State. When I got to what they called the capital of the state in Nigeria, Dabaturu, I was crying like a baby. You know what? Because I felt I had dropped the people of Yobe. You know what? It was when I came back to Nigeria, because of my exposure, thank God for you know, this thing, when I came back to Nigeria that I ended up, your chairman knows what I'm talking about. Let's, I ended up adopting a mechanic. Just hold on for a while. So, look, look, because, I, um, look, I can tell anybody, because I don't hit, I don't beg them Let's to get me. back to the thrust of this discussion. I can tell anybody my opinion. Uh, this, um, uh, so was, uh, just a minute, Gola. We have a call from Olufemi. Olufemi is calling from Adoikiti. Hello, Femi. How are you tonight? Good evening, Femi. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine. I'm highly elated today. Why? Why are you uh, happy? I'm very happy because uh, I'm a citizen of this uh, state. Especially, I came from Adekiti. Mm. And I witnessed this wonderful uh, election today. Uh, kudos must go to our law enforcement agency, to the security operatives that are present today. Um, really, can you find a very serious uh, situation? It was all peaceful. Everybody came out and mad. This is the first time I'm seeing this kind of uh, people coming out to express themselves. Isn't it it's very good uh, something for this uh, democracy. Uh, Somebody was asking you. Just, just a minute, just a minute. Hello? Please go ahead, go ahead. Hello? Well, with you, Femi, please go ahead. Yeah, hello? We are with you. Go ahead, Femi. Oh, yeah. You know, people came out. Nobody was molested. Everybody went on their way peacefully and they expressed their, their, their civic crimes. There was no problem. There was nothing. Even you can see our government, the, the, our governor, he even commend the, the INEC when he saw everything that was on ground. So we should, we should, we should be grateful to INEC especially. Thank and you very much, Femi, for your contribution. And I'm very happy for the presence of the military. Because even if there's any place that people are uh, maybe having uh, some little 
uh, grievances or whatever. The moment the military just passed away, all stop for a moment, you see the place very quiet. Mm. You know, uh, this election is a very good result, uh, election. Though we are waiting for the results to be um, announced by the INEC or the presiding officer. But up to this moment, I'm telling you, I'm at that now. now. There, there is peace in the town. Everybody was moving around. Mm. Some people were joyful because, you know, they must be having uh, some news from their units, unit post. So that's why I'm limited. Thank you very much for your objectivity, Femi. Good to hear from you. So and I, I'm not sure whether they have learned some little lesson from this uh, Boko Haram of a thing. So it's a very good uh, thing for Nigeria. So it means that uh, there is a uh, hope for this country. So thank you very much. Good to hear from you. Regards to your family, Femi. Uh, let us move somebody was a step. asking me if I was in Ekiti today. Let us move a step That's ahead. Somebody who is calling from Ekiti. <laughs> let us move a step ahead. Must be magnanimous in defeat. Let's we, move a step ahead in this discussion, Bola. Way forward for INEC, and the um, one special thing that some people are talking about is the prosecution of electoral offenders, which has not been the order of the day in you Nigeria. Have to be very careful. You know, mm. let's be very. Some of these things, when we, as a, I was a practicing journalist before, mm. you know, some of these things, they are easy to speak in front of a camera, but they are not that easy. INEC is not a court of law. I'm not I, talking I, about I, INEC here. Yeah. Just hold on a little, hold on a little, Gola. I'm talking about a way forward for our electoral system in Nigeria. No, but it's been suggested at the confab. You Let's recall? Let's just the confab will work. Oh. Let's, just hope their Let's just hope their suggestions will be adopted. Mm. Many of the things that are disturbing you and I in this jurisdiction have been suggested for change at the CONFAB. But we see, you know, the, the dichotomous nature of our politics, North versus South, the funny arrangement whereby majority of the people who are in the CONFAB are beneficiaries of some of their appointees may frustrate that. But the truth be told, you see, the job of any EMB, election management body anywhere in the world, that is the generic name they call them worldwide, mm. the job of any EMB is to conduct a credible election, starting from the beginning of the process, enlightenment, voters registration, voters accreditation, by balloting, result, uh, result reading. Mm. But don't let's, uh, if, if we want to go into theoretical or intellectual exercise, we can be chasing the rabbit from here to Mongolia. <laughs> it's all right. Um, we've heard it all from AKT. Not all entirely. We're still hoping to hear more. You can be a part of this show. The number is on your screen. Our social media feeds. I keep telling you all the time. But before then, let's um, take this call. It's from Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel. Uh, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Gabriel. Hello. Welcome to Core TV hello. News. Hello. Please go ahead with your contribution. Thank you. I'm calling from Madrid. So I want to say something again about that my brother has just recently that uh, you know we can't go for today that we all of us came out and looked at the for our children and we are thankful. We can't go that people vote for their choice, not by force. And, uh, you know, we, we really thank government that we did it because we are voting and voting and voting in the city state, but not even peaceful like this before. But let us be encouraging our government in another state, except the city state, when we make for voting let them deploy equality like this in the city state. Let everything be peaceful. So, and I pray that in the city state, we do not experience war in our state. And today shows that from today, we are, we are, we will continue living peacefully. So, that is my own. Uh, that is my own uh, contribution. Uh, Thank you very much for calling, Gabriel. And I thank God. Even me, I voted, and I knew, I knew the, I knew, I knew my own, uh, 
I mean, I counted my food on my, on my own fully unit. Okay. People are counting me. No, there, is, there is nothing high. Mm. He understand me. So we, every, everything is clear. <laughs> the way the INEC did it, it's very, very okay. It's right. That is this is good election. This is what we want in Nigeria. It's all right. So Thank you. Thank you so very much for your contribution, Gabriel. So, so if Gabriel decides to mm. call in again, mm. we will entertain him and let him talk. He can have <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much the for modern, your contribution, Gabriel. Modern broadcasting technology is very good. Very as we as we begin to round up now in this segment, we okay. We have um, life eats coming already. This is the Collation Center, I believe, in Adoe Kiti. And our correspondent are uh, that this is the signature of all eyes. And everyone is waiting to see and to know for sure who amongst these 18 contenders will become the next governor of Ekiti State, the much talked about election June 21, 2014. It used to be far away, but here's the D-Day. As a matter of fact, collation is ongoing now in Adoikiti. Now, this is, uh, uh, like this, of course, is a similar, it happens oftentimes that we get to read, we get to count our elections late into the night. But then, what do you, as an analyst, what do you foresee because we are moving away now from, we're getting into another level <laughs> in this particular election, away from people coming out. We have finally gotten to this point where votes are being counted. What do you foresee in the next couple of hours? Events like this mm. have made me to be as circumspect as I've been all day, all day. And you know why? It really matters that at the point of collation, it is done with integrity mm. and it, it reflects the micro, the corporate or summative reflection of the micro uh, points of balloting, the boots, the units, the, the, the uh, wards. Mm. the local government. You see, uh, ever since I came on here, I've been saying I could only give coup to an INEC. <laughs> I would still want yeah, you're to, still holding on to, your to my dose. You know? <laughs> but you see, if this were to be done well enough, mm. one thing that would be, one thing that I know... Just a minute, Bola, we have a call. Yinka is calling us from Adwekiti. Hello, Yinka, how are you tonight? Thank you for the program you are currently running on the television. You're welcome, Yinka. In fact, I will tell you, this is the first time I will see the fearless election in the city. In fact, in the election, I want to tell you that this election went on smoothly. The police uh, 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 did not arrest anybody. Normally, we we experience some uh, some uh, we experience uh, people that were arrested, but they have committed some offences. You can consider the chairman of the local government, who the security boost of his car and the point they burned in that car. That is very hard. How, how, how will you feel if you are pulling boots and somebody is threatening you with a gun, a civilian like you? So I want to, I want to thank the president for allowing the military people to come into this election and to say that we civilians, we must learn how to run our own government without allowing the, the military to come in. By doing the way with all other, with all materials that can be communicated out. But so far, this election is the fairest. Even if you, can, if you, if you have the governor, this is me. You have to contact the INEC. So I want to say the INEC has done a very good job. The election has been fair, and there is 
tell the contestant that they still thinking we're going to Shaguna. I think they have to visit the uh, uh, well, don't let me do that, but I believe it is the fairest. It's all right. Thank you very much for your contribution. Goloba, will it be too early to say that Mr. President is scoring a political point with the election in Nekiti from all this feedback that we're getting? It will be delusive of anybody who is a strategist of the president to make him believe that the result of Nekiti would automatically translate to uh, this thing for him. Mm -hmm. And you see, that is some of the mistakes we make when... People are by nature, people are by nature very different. Mm. In some states of this federation, a candidate like Fayoshe wouldn't have been able to rehabilitate his political, political uh, uh, persona to even be in a position where he, would, where he would be the chosen candidate of a major party. Mm. But it happened in the kid. Mm. He probably may not, he probably wouldn't have happened in Ondo. So if somebody, if any of the strategists of the president were to be telling him that, oh God, that is what we are doing now, uh, you see this thing, they are deluding him. He should get serious at his job and do what will please majority of Nigerians and not be hoping against hope that because the election went well in a giddy, it will automatically translate into this thing for you. Thank you very much, Oba. We're going to take a break now. Of course, we'll be back because I'm sure that everyone is itching to find out what the result is and what exactly transpired after all in the AKT election. Of course, you know that um, after the primetime news, our primetime news will be at 9.45. It's, it's a must watch as we bring you details of what transpired in the course of the day around AKT, the yawn, and of course, outside Nigeria. We'll be back after then to tell you more about this time around the result because we'll be here monitoring every bit of it. Our correspondents are in Adoi KT where the collation is ongoing as we are hopeful that today indeed would decide uh, what transpired in AKT. On, on a lighter note, Golaoba, Nigeria is also playing today in Brazil. It is the second round. We can only wish them well. Wish them well. We can only wish our boys well. <laughs> so we hold them down. I come to think of it, mm. if I'm representing Nigeria, even if you guys don't believe in me, at least wish me well. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, 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 and you know that um, a win, let's analyze this, a win or a analyze loss for Nigeria? Football? No, no, not football, really. But li let's look at how the mood gets to impact on whoever wins or whoever loses this election. A loss for Nigeria will be lost on both sides for supporters of those who, who, who will lose in the AKT election. That, my brother, mm. is the reality of life. Mm. That is the reality of life. Mm. We are all Nigerians because the boys are representing us in Fireway, mm. in Fireway, uh, Brazil. But you see, uh, that does not mean that in house, mm. or whilst we are, you know, we don't hold uh, different opinions. Let the better team win, and let it be super egos of Nigeria as we also wait to find out. I would not say out. let the better team win. I would say <laughs> may God let may our God team let win. It's but right. you see, God is not the only God of Nigeria. Mm. God is not only the God of Nigeria. He's also the God, God of, of uh, Bosnia and Zagovinia. Uh, just like God is not the only God of a particular political party, we definitely find that. We'll take a break now. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget that you can reach us on our social media feeds. Facebook, it's facebook.com come forward slash court tv news and that's showing on your screen and our twitter handle at court tv news ng and you can also watch us live on youtube streaming as we speak our previous edition is also there youtube.com forward slash court tv leave a space at news this is your political demon station court tv news uh, bringing you all the updates live from lagos i am nifemi oguntoye and we'll be back with you don't go away Come June 21, it will be decision day for the people of Ekiti. 18 candidates are gunning for one seat. I am the next governor of Ekiti. But the people will have the final say. I know that tolerance has a very big place. Join extensive coverage of the election and get up to the many details as development unfold.
I'm the voice of the people. With expert analysis from the best political team on television. And that's honesty of island. Without Join us all day June 21 to find out who emerges the next governor of the Kitty State. We have agreed to move this state forward. Keep a date with us on Call TV News. You can also watch us live on our website on www.calltvnews.com. A 24-hour news station.